Hello again, and welcome to another OBS tutorial. Seeing as though the last video did pretty alright, I figured it'd be best to provide an update. This update is long overdue, and I apologize to anyone who may have been confused or could not get the help they needed from the last video. I hope this video will be of better help. If not, feel free to punt my dumb little head into the sun. A little bit of information to add. There's still a quick and easy method that users of any streaming client can use, with integration to Discord using reactive.foogie.tech. I'll provide a link to the website in the description. All you'll need is your active and inactive images, then copy and paste the provided browser URL into a browser source in OBS. Then you'll join any Discord voice server, and you should start to see OBS react with your character. Just remember to apply your changes and reset your browser source in OBS when you want to adjust your settings. Now let's talk about getting this mouth talking. Step one. Downloading the plugin. Keep in mind I'll be using OBS version 28 on Windows 11 for this tutorial. This should still apply to Windows 10, however. This tutorial will only require one plugin to function. That plugin being the Move Transition Plugin. All you need to do is to download the zip file and unpack it into your OBS directory. Easy peasy, make me queasy. Once you have it extracted, open OBS and create a new scene. It's recommended to have a dedicated scene for your avatar. And once you're finished, you can add that scene into any other scene you may desire. Now, let's do what needs to be done. Step 2. Setting up your character. Some things to keep in mind during this step. 1. You're going to want to have a character's base layer. What this means is, you're going to want to have a layer that's dedicated purely for the non-interactive elements, such as the mouth or ears or whatever else you want to interact with your microphone. 2. Have both static and active elements of your character exported at the same resolution and proper position when you save your character's elements. So, if you export your base at 1080p, you're going to want to export the mouth on its own at 1080p and in their corresponding spot when you export the image. Now, if you don't do any of those things, it's not a bad thing. It's just you're going to have a hard time with OBS's alignment options. Fun! For the purposes of this tutorial, I created a test scene where I imported all of my elements into OBS. I have the mouth open on top of the mouth closed, and then I have the base layer underneath everything else. You want to keep your files named properly so you don't get confused easily. So, to begin, we're going to click on our mouth closed image, then go over to its filter. We're going to add a color correction filter and set the opacity to zero, and close the menu. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the mouth open. We're going to click on it and click on to filters. Then, add a color correction filter and set the opacity to zero and close the menu. Now, if you want to do this with any other elements such as mouth, ears, eyes, hands, or whatever, you'll just be doing that to all those elements as well. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, yo, what the heck? You just got rid of my dang mouth for my dang character. And to you, I say, hold your horses. We're getting there. Calm down. Now, to get your microphone interacting with your mouth, you're going to want to go over to your sources and add a audio input capture. You're going to want to name the audio, whatever your microphone is, and click OK. Then, you're going to want to go over to its filters and add a audio move filter. So to begin, we're going to get the mouth open to show itself when you talk. To do this, you're going to want to go over to meter type and have it be set to magnitude. Easing set to zero, action to filter enable, source to whatever the name of your mouth open file is, and filter to the color correction. Then, for the threshold action, you're going to want to have it set to enable under and disable over. Now, threshold is the most important part of this step. This is how sensitive your microphone is to activating your mouth. Lower numbers being more sensitive, higher numbers being less sensitive. Play with it until you get something you're happy with. Once you've set your threshold to the setting you'd like, rename the filter to mouth open. 
That way you can easily track it in the future. Next, you're going to want to add another audio move and name it Mouth Closed. You're going to want to use all the same settings as before up to Threshold Action. This time, you're going to want to use Enable Over and Disable Under. Then, set the threshold to the same number you set your mouth open to. For any other elements you'd like to move with your microphone, just follow the same steps as for the mouth closed and mouth open. And with that, you should be done setting up your character. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped achieve the effect that you wanted. If it did, please feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you like watching Adingas play some games, feel free to check out my streams. They're a fun place to hang out. I promise. Have a great time creating. Goodbye.